I just with that trick play. Uh, did you know that was coming? Or? Yeah, yes. Yeah, we actually it was just something we whipped up, you know, right before, uh, you know, we played the spring game. So just had to have something up our sleeves. Did you know when you guys were going to bust it out? Or, I mean, did you kind of have that? Uh, no. I mean, you just you called in the huddle. I mean, it's like any other play. You just got to execute the play they call. Do you have... Feel good about how it went down? I mean, did you have confidence? Uh, the first one, not so much. Uh, <laughs> it's a little tough being quarterback or whatever. But the second one, it was it was good. You know, we, we got a couple reps at it in practice, and we just kind of came out here and executed. So. Do you have some experience throwing the ball? No, not really. <laughs> no, not really. Not really at all. I probably haven't thrown the ball since, like, high school. So how did you get called on to do that? It was like, whoever can throw, can throw, throw the ball, and I'll, I'll do whatever it takes to win, so... And what was your sort of overall impression of the offense today and what they were able to do and where you guys struggled? Um, I think we came out and, uh, I mean, we definitely had a lot of setbacks today, but uh, we're, we're building. We're, we're building something uh, towards camp, and, I mean, uh, we definitely have to pick up things next week when we go out there and correct the mistakes that we made. So um, I just think the offense needed to come out here today. We, we executed some plays, and we didn't do well in some plays. So we just need to keep working hard and keep pushing. There were quite a few turnovers there from the offense. What kind of needs to happen to make that, to prevent those? Oh, man. Ball security is number one thing, man. So just being detailed, I mean, finishing on everything in practice and just something that has to be harped on and preached on in practice because you can't turn the ball over. I mean, everybody knows, you know, you, you, you lose a turnover margin, you're probably going to lose the game. So we just need to go back to square one uh, in terms of ball security, ball drills, quarterback making good decisions. When you, got, when you guys have two, you know, two or more quarterbacks going in and out and a bunch of wide receivers going in and out, what do you have to do to, to establish kind of the, the cohesion and the, the unity that you'd have if you just had one quarterback and, and just a few wide receivers? Um, so if you had one quarterback, you would obviously spend a lot of time with that quarterback. So in theory, you have to spend a lot of time with every single quarterback until that's what we do. Um, like I said earlier, uh, Coach Harbaugh. Um, he rotates all the quarterbacks in practice. There is no just one set quarterback playing. So receivers can catch from a lot of different quarterbacks. And I mean, we have a lot of time to rep with the quarterbacks, you know, during our practices. So we're going to do the same thing in the spring, uh, finish out in the summer and head into camp. I'll do the same thing until Coach Harwell says we start. Lamar said he has a better arm than you. But That's not true. <laughs> Are you jumping in the quarterback competition now? If you're I don't know. I might. I don't know. Whatever Coach Harwell wants. <laughs> What's been your impression of Jabril Peppers and his, his sort of adjustment to the safety position? Uh, Jabril's doing a great job, man. Uh, the kid is he's just so energetic. Passion for the game is unbelievable. Uh, we need guys like that because uh, energy is contagious, you know, um, positive and negative. So, I mean, you can look at a couple stretches. I mean, you're, you're down in the game. You need a guy to pick everybody up. He, you know, he's one of those guys along with me trying to get everybody going, you know. So, energy is contagious. What's it like to play for Coach Harbaugh? Um, so this was just a spring game. We haven't really play, played an opponent yet. Um, but he's just, he's a competitor, um, and he loves to win. I mean, and those are just known facts just by his history. So, but when we get into the season, get into camp, uh, we'll be able to more, uh, better answer that question. How have Jim and his staff energized this program so far? Um, aside from bringing energy themselves, uh, they've really preached that, um, Good teams have to be self-policed, and so you just need guys, regardless of what your age, um, your year, you have to come out and really just police the team yourself. And so that's what he really harps on, and that's that's one of the biggest things because I mean coaches aren't always out there, you know. So it's the players that have to run their team. Couple more. You noticed a difference in Shane over the last 15 practices, on or off the field. Shane's doing a great job, man. Uh, everybody really is too. I mean, from from practice one, there have been huge improvements. We've cut down turnovers. We've cut down on a lot of things. Uh, and then our execution has also increased. Um, so we just got a chance out here today, just come have fun, play against each other, you know, so good deal.